So as you probably know, one degree uh, is currently available in San Francisco and Alameda counties. And I'm really excited to announce our newest community. Can I get a drum roll? Contra Costa County. Woo! We, have, we now have over a thousand resources uh, available on one degree from Contra Costa County. Uh, and we're adding more and more every single day. So we're very excited about that. So as you can see, one degree is ready, ready for scale. Over the coming months, we're actually going to be undergoing an expansion process to the South Bay, uh, the Peninsula, and also the North Bay. Um, so we're very excited about that. Uh, Contra Costa was our very first stop. Um, and we have pledged as an organization um, to make sure that all 1.3 million people who, who live in poverty in the nine counties of the Bay Area uh, have access to those resources by next year. So that's a big undertaking, and we're, we're very excited about that. Um, with that, I'm going to bring up Natalia, who's going to lead our panel discussion about Contra Costa, the, the unique community, and the unique challenges that uh, are in Contra Costa. So thank you all very much for being here, and welcome, Natalia. Getting into the resources is kind of difficult. Um, from Antioch to Concord, or from Richmond to Concord, it's, it's, you know, it's a challenge, and probably take them two hours in order for them to get from one place to another. The gang problem has been a situation where even uh, gang members or families of gangs, they can't cross over the east side to the west side to the north side to even get services. So those are the, some of the other issues too. And then, you know, something that is still needed and that is something that folks are working on is places that have I guess a lot less sort of demands on folks receiving services because it's like if you are trying to get support, it's like it is hard to be like this perfect person that is going to be able to, you know, fulfill all the different things that you need to be fulfilling in order to get services. And it's like if you're not a good enough person in those ways, it's like you kind of get left out in the cold or under the freeway where you know, it's like people are getting, you know, literally hosed off the street on Market Street. And it's like, and we can't, you know, make people be perfect before we're helping them. What's so different about at least West Contra Costa and the rest of the county is are the refineries that you don't have elsewhere. And they're at risk for exploding, which we found out a couple years ago. Um, they admit noxious gases at times, and they're very separate from the rest of the community. They're, they make these isolated areas of themselves. What is another thing that's going on in Contra Costa County is that a lot of people from Hunters Point, Betrayal Hill, all in the Fillmore are moving into Contra Costa due to the Section 8, the vouchers. I learned about Contra Costa is that there's many Contra Costas. It's not one area like San Francisco is is one city, one county, one political establishment. In Contra Costa, you have many cities with their own approaches, um, and so it creates silos. There are more foreclosures per capita in Antioch than anywhere else in the country. It's a new concept. Poverty is no longer just an urban thing. And so it's new to places like Antioch and Pittsburgh, who now have lots of empty homes uh, in their neighborhoods. And so they're just learning about how to deal with this type of poverty, which is not your, your kind of stereotypical, you know, old urban poverty in big cities. It's now spread out, and that's much harder to deal with because it's not concentrated. One thing that I can think of right now is our respite program. Uh, we started a uh, medical respite um, in 2010. Uh, we have about 26 uh, beds. They also have some other health con consortiums that have gathered um, and is growing stronger. Um, I just heard about the homeless consortium, so I'm really excited about that uh, to get involved in that. So the consortiums are starting to be really effective as well. So something that um, I've been seeing recently that's been, I think, really helpful in helping address the homelessness issue in the city is the um, 
I believe it's called the Navigation Center, which you know opened up recently where it is a, yeah, right up the street. And it's a singular place where folks can go to get connected to resources. Unfortunately, resources are still very limited, but like that sort of like one-stop shop is something that's really helpful, as are um, places that have wraparound services to kind of address the multiple areas in which people are situated. We have a computer system, uh, a computer class where people can come in, have coffee, uh, and now go online, now that you're coming, uh, and help us navigate them without always having to leave their environment. Well, for me, it's uh, I'm going to be biased, so it's going to be health coverage for all <laughs> for people in Contra Costa County. And for me, it's definitely that Contra Costa County uh, wake up and understand that women's plight in this county, in any county. But um, again, I just want to piggyback. I do believe once you guys come, we'll be able to tackle some of those issues uh, much better and and unite much closer. I think my hope is that one degree bring it all together and um, we actually can be, um, Contra Costa can be one of your um, main counties that you really have great access to, to changing this, this, this poverty issue in our world. Thank you.